Did you know that if you have shiny objects in there, you're going to be great at selling? Yes, it is true. Oh wait, what is shiny object syndrome? Well, it's squirrel, squirrel. It, oh, hey, how are you doing? Yeah, shiny object syndrome is when you have like a million ideas in your head and you wanna do them all. And that is what this video is all about, how to harness the power of the shiny object syndrome so that you use it to your advantage and don't let it get too distra uh, distracting. Hey, it's Tom Jacobs. Welcome to the channel. If you are new here, it is all about presentation, performance for more profits in your business, especially for the solo practitioner and the solopreneur who want a better sales process so that you can impact more people. So let's dive into shiny object syndrome. I know I've had a lot of mentors and even myself as a mentor that have told people that, hey, you have shiny object syndrome, you're probably should like tame that a bit. But you know what, lately I am feeling that shiny object syndrome, especially for salespeople, is a gift. And why do I say that? Well, let me explain in this video. I totally believe that sales is a never ending learning process. You know the old saying, always be closing? Well, I prefer to say always be learning. Always be learning new techniques, new ways of presenting, new technologies, all of that so that it can make you better as a salesperson. A salesperson that's stagnant, that doesn't get coached, that doesn't read a lot, that doesn't look at new techniques and go to webinars and seminars, is a salesperson that's probably going to be dying on a regular basis. Even in my own business now, I have a sales mentor that I speak to on a regular basis. And then my salespeople that work in the business with me, we do sales meetings each and every week where we upskill their skills and find new ways to help them close more deals for our clients. Here is how to really harness the power of the shiny object syndrome. Number one, if there's a new book on sales, read it. Download the audio version, listen to it while you're exercising. If you're into the actual hard copy, read it. Read lots of books, lots of different techniques on selling. And some of it is garbage, granted, but you know what? Every once in a while you might pick up a little nugget that's gonna help you increase just 1%, 2%, 3%. Maybe it's just a little increment, but every bit getting better is gonna help you in the long run. If you hear about a new technology that will help you improve and streamline your whole selling process, then definitely investigate it. I'm always looking at new technologies, whether it's a new calendar system that might make it easier to book appointments for my clients, or if it's even easier to make sure that people actually show up for their appointments as well. I'm always looking at new technologies or maybe even a pipeline system. And in fact, I did actually do a review of PipeDrive versus Active Campaign and the pipeline feature in Active Campaign. So you may want to check that out up there. I'll just put a little card right there for you. And I'm always looking for new ways to improve the process of selling so that I'm actually selling more of the time. Because if salespeople are fiddling around with the technology and doing all sorts of weird stuff there, then they're not on the phones, they're not in person, they're not making sales and you definitely want your salespeople making sales. So if there's a way of increasing productivity, then definitely investigate it. If there's a seminar or a webinar, then join in, go to it, learn more. Even if you think that you know everything about sales and there should never be a salesperson that thinks that they know everything, because that, again, is a salesperson that's gonna be going <laughs> you definitely want to be learning. And I love to go to webinars and seminars to learn how a lot of people sell from the stage because that's one of my niches, is not only doing that, but also teaching others how to do it as well. And I always like to hone my skills. So I'm, I'm there with a little critical brain as well to see how the techniques of that speaker is doing it and how I might be able to use some of those techniques or maybe if it's falling flat, then make sure that I don't use that technique as well. So there are always great ways to learn no matter what you're doing. So those seminars, those seminars, make sure that you're signing up and you're going to them. Of course, make sure that you're balancing so you're not taking away from time from selling to. All of these things are gonna help you hone your skills as a salesperson. And I don't care, a lot of people say, you know, that, that shiny object 
they say it's bad for you, but you know, I, there was something out there that I had to just really check out. Of course, how are you doing? Back here, shiny object. What was I saying? Oh yeah, go for it. Embrace that shiny object syndrome and make sure you're using it to your advantage. And while you're at it, I put together another video right here that I know you're gonna absolutely love because it's all on how to set and achieve those difficult goals. And I'm actually doing it while I'm flying a plane. So I'm sure you're gonna really enjoy it and check out that video right now. And until next time, you have a great day.